Today we'll be going back to basics and looking at a radio that has similar user familiarity and ease of operation to that of the UV5R family of radios. This is the TXQ8600 Plus, a potential upgrade to the UV5R. I've got the camo version here and as you can see the display is the same. This radio has a more rugged feel than the UV5R and appears to have a level of waterproof or at least showerproof protection around the battery. The radio is a dual bander and it operates between 136 and 174 MHz VHF and 400 to 520 MHz UHF with an output power of 5 watts. I've got the camouflage example here and it does feel quite well made and really rugged. It comes with a charger base, power supply and dual band antenna. On the left side is the PTT, FM radio button and monitor button and on the right is the Kenwood style speaker mic and programming cable jack. On the top is the on off and volume control as well as the flashlight and antenna socket and the battery just clips into place on the back. Operation is virtually identical to the UV5R form factor and the menu system is identical as well so we won't go into loads of detail, instead we'll head out to some local high ground and look at what really matters and see if we can make a contact. M7 MVF, M7 MVF, M3HHY Mobile. Yeah I got you Lewis, no problem, uh, a little bit of uh, noise but uh, perfect. Yeah, it's a similar uh, similar story this way as well, Paul. Just on a different radio now, the TXQ8600 Plus. So this is a bit of a smaller one, um, com sort of comparable comparable to the UV5R. So uh, yep, yeah, you're sounding still sounding good. Uh, good up to Werner's low. Uh, back to you. From M7 MVF. Oh, I missed a little bit of that. Um, dropped below the squelch a couple of times. Um, I think probably just as you're moving around. Um, but uh, yeah, audio. Yep. Okay, Paul. I'll uh, I'll try and uh, I'll try and keep still. I wonder if that's uh, that's any better. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, no problem, Lewis. If you stay like that, then uh, we'll be okay. Yep. Great stuff. This is uh, this is a, a sort of like I say, it's similar to the UV5R, like a camouflage uh, looking radio. So it's uh, sort of pocket pocket sized radio. Seems to be doing okay. Uh, anyway, um, back to you. From M7 MBF. Yep. Um... A little bit of flutter, it's up and down, um, but um, I say it sounds uh, sounds very good. Um, and uh, I wonder how uh, how it is on receive with the, uh, the the filtering. I think that's sometimes a problem, isn't it? Uh, with some of the, uh, the cheaper radios, the, um, the sort of filtering and things. But uh, certainly sounds very good, and um, it uh, certainly wouldn't have believed it a few years ago. Um, number of radios uh, that are available for the price that they're at quite uh, quite incredible uh, m7 mbm from m3hhy mobile yeah it's um spider spider on the antenna then uh, yeah it's uh, it is um it's okay i always come to one low because the, the transmitter site is just down the road so it's handy to test the uh, the filtering and see if anything gets swamped by the pager traffic and the airwave traffic and stuff it seems to be doing okay um no problems at all no problem receiving you and um yeah there's no no bleed over on on the frequency so that's quite good um okay do you want to try um 145425 again um for a, a two meter test paul Yep, nothing heard either. Um, so yeah, I wonder how this one's sounding now, Paul, on uh, down on two meters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, it sounds good, Lewis. I think the signal's a little bit more stable on two. Uh, there's a little bit of bit more flutter on seventy. Um, probably as you'd expect, really. But um, sounds a, sounds a more solid, uh, stable signal uh, on two. Probably around about five and seven, something like that. Yep, no worries. You're about a five and five and eight up here. Um, decent signal. Um, really, really nice audio as well, Paul. So that's uh, that's always a bonus. Radio's been quiet this morning. I've been listening around across two and seventy, but there's not been much uh, not been much going on. So I always appreciate you coming on for a test. Uh, back to you. Oh, excuse me. Always nice to speak to you, Lewis, and uh, nice to be able to help out. Well, uh, right. Okay, Paul. I'll say seven three. But cheers for coming on for the test. I appreciate it. 
and uh, we'll catch you further down the log. M7 MVF M3HHY Mobile. So another good performance from TXQ. The 8600 Plus did quite well over to the other side of Manchester with good signal and audio reports from Paul. As I said earlier, this radio is very similar to the UV5R family of radios, but it might just be a nice upgrade for someone wanting something a bit more rugged, with shower protection and a bit of a different paint job. Oh, my God.